Okay, today, this is Jeff Tracy we're making a video about a crane envelope, an origami crane envelope. This is my friend Soul right here. <laughs> you touched my face. Uh, that's gross. Okay, so now we're going to uh, um, make a crane envelope. Sorry, I've pre filled it a lot because um, someone interrupted. Not Soul. It's not Soul. It was someone else. Anyways. This is the second attempt, actually the third attempt on making a video, second attempt for this particular model today. So, what you first want to do is you want to fold these two corners to, to make a so-called kite base, or I guess that is a kite base. You want to fold it like this, and then you want to unfold that, then you want to do it again on the opposite side, like this. Oh, actually, no, keep it like that. And then fold this up past the don't go past these corners so it looks like a nice big fat isosceles triangle. Like this. And then you want to unfold all that. And then what you want to do where these lines right here intersect, you do, um you want to valley fold in half. Just don't go past where these intersect. See look right here where it makes an isosceles triangle right here. You don't want to go past that. Don't fold anywhere here. You fold that. You see? Fold it. Nice and good. Just don't fold past it. It's a crucial part. Now what you want to do is you want to flip this paper over and fold in that part again, but since you're valley folding on the other side, it will be opposite, so don't fold. So you can fold here in half, but just don't fold past these cross things, cross line, cross whatever. So, as you can see, just folding on the parts, don't, don't go past, so that it makes kind of conflicting lines, since they're both going opposite directions, which will come in later though. Uh, kind of blast this base. Okay, so now you want to flip it over again. Now I'm going to collapse the base, actually. Like I was just saying, a little bit. So now what you want to do is, where these kind of are popping up, you're going to want to pinch these, as you see, and then kind of fold on this line, the center line down. You're going to want to pinch these so that they come up, and so that it kind of forms a nice pentagon right here, like this, and as you can see these little things, so you just, I'll, I'll kind of do that again and slower, if you just kind of do this, these kind of naturally go up and you just fold it, okay, so now it looks like this, looks like a nice pentagon, so now I'm going to start folding upside down, so it'll look right to you, so don't fold it like this, make it as, fold it as you see it, don't have your arms behind, anyways, so now you want to take these two corners and you're going to want to fold this as far as it will go right here kind of making this line right here that's already folded kind of keep going onto this line and press that down so that it looks like that and bring it a little closer so it looks like this and then you're going to want to um, fold it back and then you're going to want to do the same thing like this. Fold it as much as you can. Just like this. Okay, now I'm going to fold it back. So there's a cross right here in the middle. And now you're going to want to, um, uh, you're going to want to, um, do this on the back, I think. Or, no, 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 once you do that, let me see. Sorry, I'm looking at a book. Okay, so you don't want to do it on that. Once you do this, you're going to want to collapse the entire thing like this on the crosses right here until you get something like this kind of sticking up like that. Okay, kind of see. Okay, let me just. Here we are. So you kind of see. You collapse right along here. Folding that, and also folding right here along the middle as a mountain fold. Actually, you should probably pre fold it. No, that'd be kind of hard. Just make sure that these come up like that, or down, I guess, from your perspective. And 
make it squash it so it looks like a square base. Because that's what we're going for. Now, of course, you're going to, I think, some, I think sometimes maybe it'll, uh, well, let me just fix this for a second. It might already have these little braces right here. They, um, I'm not sure, really. But just in case you don't, fold these to the center line, kind of like you're doing on my kite base, but do it on the square base that we have. It's kind of half square base, since it's kind of more of half. Then we're going to want to pedal fold, like you do when you make a crane, since this is a crane. And, but it's more stationed on this, so then you fold up like that, of course. Then, like you also do on cranes, pretty much do the same thing. You hold these to the center. Oh, and then you fold um, uh, this to the center too. So you kind of have a miniature, oh, well, a miniature, just a kind of folding like a tight base a little bit. But it looks like this, so it's thin. Now you're going to want to um, valley fold over here to the right. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to have to um, kind of fold this flat here. Oh, wait, let me see. Okay, wait, I'm just going to do it like. Oh, actually, so you kind of want to have to look like that. So you're going to want to. Oh, okay, so you're going to want to fold this up like that. Right as far, kind of, until you meet, in, meet this invisible edge that should be right under there. But you can't really fold it any hard more without giving over a lot of layers. And you want to have this also just go as far as you can right onto this, onto the corner of the pentagon right here. Have it like that. So you, you should have something looking like this. Now what you want to do is you want to open this up right here and then um, fold the, oh actually as you fold this court this little flap down and open that up it should look like a crane and now what you want to do is you kind of to make the crane it look like a crane's head what you kind of want to do is just kind of do the same thing where you kind of make a little valley fold right here and just make it look like a look like a, a crane head like it should look like maybe make it a little bit bigger Sorry, my brother can be heard in the background because he's a little bit, I don't know, really. Okay, now you just kind of want to do the same, um, you have to fold this over, fold this up like that, so it looks like a crane, and then you want to fold this down, fold this over, and here you have a crane body right here. So now, um... It'll look like a crane, pretty much. You should probably use double-sided paper, and if you did use, and if you are using double-sided paper, make sure that this is colored and the crane is not, or vice versa. Just I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Now, what you want to do is you want to, um, you kind of want to crease these edges right here. You want to fold this, still making sure that it's kind of going. Per, kind of fold this edge so that it's make it's kind of going. Maybe you have to go a little bit over so that it's kind of going straight up. Actually, no, no, no. Just fold this edge to that edge. It may go a little bit over. Just to kind of make it straight. And do that on the other side, but then unfold them. Uh, and now what you want to do is with this, you're going to want to um, fold this over so it looks like the wing of a crane. I don't know why they do that after. But that's just what it says in the book. Huh. Okay, fold it like that. Okay, so it'll look like this. Now it looks really like a crane, I guess, if you make cranes like that. And then what you have to do now is, um, um, now you're going to want to fold. Well, make sure these creases were nice and solid. Now you're going to want to fold these edges right here, kind of to go down like this, and then um, over like that. And then what you're going to want to do with the head 
is you're going to want to valley fold this little part, this little flap right here on the head. Maybe I should fold this a little bit more. Just kind of mountain fold it down so that you can't really see it anymore and make it sure that it goes along the line of the head so that it doesn't really show as much anymore. Now, I think pretty much the crane is complete. After you've folded these, what you want to do is kind of want to do that thing that you want to fold over this, making sure that they're not going over that line. Try a little bit so that you make it even sharper edge or kind of like this, just fold over. And you have to kind of roll this back a little bit to make sure that it doesn't go over that edge. So then that's just kind of thing. Maybe you should be using. Anyways, you should, um, now you can you just fold this in. So now it looks, it's looking more like an envelope. Sorry if I'm doing this a little bit messily. Now what you want to do is, um, um, uh, where is it? Um, envelope, okay, like on the, on the left flap, you're going to want to, hmm. Actually, no, don't do this. I don't know. Right here. Now you're going to want to fold this top down so that it comes right to this edge right here. Now you're going to want to, right on these edges, you're going to want to fold this down, making sure that it kind of comes lines up to this line, uh, kind of, let me piece that more, uh, this line piece right here, to fold that, so it should look something like this, and you of course want to do it on the other side, line it up, now you're going to have to, um, see this little thing, you're going to have to on these little mountain folds, you're gonna kind of have to um, dramatically increase them. Kind of pull, kind of the excess paper that's under this flap, and pull that, and then kind of do the same thing on the other side. Just fold it under, and then crease it down because it probably wouldn't stand that still. So now it looks like points. And now you are done with the envelope. Although to close it. Right here, where these two things, um, where these things meet, like right on the right on the edge of this, fold down, and then not just kind of fold down as far as you can really go, and then it'll look like this. But then this point right here can go um, right under this little pocket right here, so it, so it can close and seal completely. So. It doesn't. So, it won't really bother you anymore, I guess. Or, you can just kind of keep this stuff inside. You probably use a little bit bigger paper than what I'm using. It's, as you can see, it's kind of getting all crumpled a little bit. But now, when you're done, it should look like this. Except a little bit less messy, since I'm messing it up a lot. So you can just kind of open it up like this. You can just pull right here. And you have a nice crane inside. And you have a pocket right here. Sorry, to put stuff in. So, thank you guys for watching this video and enduring the horrible things that have been happening and messing up making us. Thank you guys for watching again, and bye.